Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know who I am? I'm Slap, and if you don't know who I am, that probably means that you're new. So go down there, subscribe, takes a second of your time, helps me out so much. Thank you to everybody that subscribed to me. 55, we're more than halfway to 100. Hopefully we can reach that by next year. I think that's a little bit too quick. Hopefully we can do that, right? Uh, anyways, while you're down there, drop a like. It really helps me out. We're gonna be making sugar cookies today and they're going to be frosted and shaped like, uh, I don't know, just fall related stuff. Cause fall has just began, which means spooky season, right? Halloween is next month in October and I love Halloween so much. I cannot even tell you how much I love Halloween. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what that was, but love Halloween. And so we're gonna be making frosted sugar cookies today. We're gonna to be making stuff like maple leaf ones, pumpkin ones. Yeah, I don't know what, let's, <laughs> let's just get started. Guys, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay guys, in a medium bowl, combine two and a half cups of flour, three quarters teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of baking I said that wrong. Guys, I'm sorry, don't listen to me. Two and a half cups of flour, uh, three quarters teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Now you're just gonna wanna give this a whisk. Okay, I think that's about as, as mixed as I'm gonna get it. So now you're just going to actually set this bowl aside. Okay guys, now in a large bowl, you're gonna want to combine two sticks, which is also one cup of room temperature butter, along with one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar, and you're going to cream this together using an electric mixer. All right, it should end up looking something about like this. I don't know. Okay guys, now that that is creamed together, you're going to want to add uh, you're actually gonna want to add three egg yolks, so not the egg whites, uh, that will mess up your recipe completely. Just the egg yolks, so the best way to separate them is to just crack the egg into your hands, and then kind of like, kind of juggle it in between both of your hands, I don't know the right word, okay. Uh, and just kind of let all of the egg whites fall out into the sink or wherever. Three egg whites, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract, but you know what? The more vanilla extract, the better. So if you wanna add extra, you can do that. All right, now you're just gonna mix this until it's combined. So guys, this, act, this re I can't talk. This recipe actually says to just put the whole entire flour mixture into the recipe. I'm gonna use my hands this time so that it doesn't spill everywhere. Flour. So you're gonna have to mix these until just combined, but you cannot over mix this or it'll ruin it. I don't know how, it just does, okay? Don't ask me how. I'm not the professional here. Yikes, okay guys, I don't know how to mix this. That is so thick. Oh my gosh, this is so thick. I'm tempted to raise the number of C's after the thick to like 10. I can't, I can't. Should I use my hands? How else do I combine this? I'd say this is mixed. All right guys, I've got my cookies on the cookie sheet all cut out like so. But now what you're gonna do, set these on a tray uh, that either has parchment paper on it or one of these rubber silicone sheets. And you're gonna stick them in the oven, which should have been preheated 350 degrees. And if your oven's still heating up, then it's kind of trash. You should probably buy a new oven. But you're gonna stick these in the oven and cook them, well, bake them technically, for 15 to 18 minutes. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue this tomorrow because it's like gonna be nine by the time I finish baking these and then they've gotta cool and then we can frost them. So once I get home from school tomorrow, we're gonna continue this, but for now, uh, yeah. Also, I would recommend baking these for only like 15 or 16 minutes because Mine are pretty brown. So I would also recommend baking only nine on the cookie sheet at one time because they kind of actually grow. I didn't expect that they would, but they did. So I'll be back tomorrow, we'll frost these things, call it good. All right guys, so it's the next day. So that means that I can actually calm down a little bit, voice crack much, calm down, relax, chill, and uh, yeah. The, the next thing I guess we're gonna do, sorry guys, this is throwing me off. I've never actually done a two day video before, so. 
this is brand new to me. <sighs> the next thing we're going to do is make the frosting. All right, guys, the first step to making our frosting is adding two cups of sugar into a medium-sized bowl. I'm gonna like, all right, there we go, it's good. Two cups of powdered sugar, Bexner's sugar, and a quarter cup of shortening. Okay, so now we're going to cream this together until it's smooth. Uh, so I guess that's good, and now you're just going to add uh, five tablespoons of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract gradually. So five tablespoons. I'm gonna add two and a half at the start, which is half of the amount. And, oh yeah, as far as the vanilla goes, I'll just add the whole teaspoon. This, this is a tablespoon, so I'm just gonna kind of fill this that much. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to mix this in. Okay, that's it's pretty smooth. So now you're gonna add a food coloring of your choice, and since I'm doing pumpkins and fall leaves, I'm gonna make like kind of an orangey red. All right, there's our frosting. That is how you make it. Let's put it on the cookies. All right, guys, I've put some food coloring, uh, some green food coloring into the pumpkin. Well, what, what am I saying? Let me retry that. Hold up. I made a batch of green frosting as well and put that on there for a stem. I think it looks pretty good, but you know one thing I think it could have that would make it look even better? Sprinkles. So I'm gonna do with, the, I'm gonna do with, I'm gonna do this with the rest of the cookies and I'll be back once I've done that. Anyways guys, that is going to be it for this one. It's actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would be. I like them. I also did make a little bit of black frosting and I put them on the pumpkin so that they made jack-o'-lanterns. I'm so excited for Halloween, guys. I hope you are too. And if you did enjoy this video and you are excited for Halloween, go down there, drop a like, it takes two seconds of your time, and it helps me out so much. Thank you to everybody that goes down there and actually likes my videos. And thank you to everybody that subscribed to me. Helps me out a lot. That's it for this one. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.